subcomponent that will move into positive territory? Yeah, first of all, we must appreciate that um, judging from where we were coming from, manufacturing sector has been in the negative territory beginning from 20, I mean, 2015, right? I mean, beginning from quarter four, 2015, the manufacturing sector has been in the negative territory, right? And, and by quarter, quarter two of 2017, it has now the optic is that, I mean, we see it about 1.64, there are about percent growth. Yes, we know the growth is still fragile, is not where we want to be, especially for all the subsectors in the manufacturing uh, sector. But we also know the problems. We know, the, we, we know why manufacturing sector as a whole and the various sectors, subsectors within that uh, bracket were witnessing you know, this decline. We know the issues they are facing, the issues of um, um, uh, power, infrastructure, the issues of um, security, the issues of um, access to foreign exchange. And you will agree with me that uh, all the, some of, most of these issues are currently being addressed. I mean, the ease of doing business. You know, recently the government, I mean, uh, I mean, government has set up the, I mean, a presidential business and they, I mean, uh, Environment Council, which is chaired by His Excellency the Vice President, and it has some members from the private sector and government officials to even monitor to ensure that, uh, you know, manufacturer, I mean, investors can do business with ease. This is working, and we expect it to have impact. We also note that the central bank over the last nine months has also been working with the Bankers Committee and other related uh, stakeholders to ensure that there is stability in the, I mean, in, the, in the foreign exchange market. Now today, investors and exporters have a window you know, to, I mean, to, to, to access foreign exchange. And this is also getting you know, stabilized. The issue of security, because some of, I mean, most, um, most, most companies will say, ah, security, we want, that's why they overprice their goods and so on and so forth. But again, you know that that is one, cardin one of the cardinal principles of this administration. And government is doing a lot with respect to addressing issues of security and improved governance in the country. So we believe that with the combination of all these factors, I mean, we see a brighter future for the manufacturing sector in the months, I mean, in the months ahead. Of course, I mentioned the issue of power. Power is very, very important. And government is working with the various stakeholders, private sector inclusive, to ensure that we get the, we address the bottlenecks of all segments of the power sector, including the generation, the transmission, and indeed the distribution. I mean, gov government is addressing the funding challenges you know, of, 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 of that sector. And we believe that in the near, because if you get power right, obviously, mm. <laughs> the manufacturing sector will be able to come back into production and the goods they produce. Obviously, now that uh, people are getting empowered, people can buy those goods. And of course, the manufacturing sector will bounce back and like, I mean, just like we see, this is just the beginning. We believe that um, in the months ahead, we will see a much, much robust improvement in the performance of the manufacturing sector. All right, and we appreciate you talking to us today. Mr. Tunde Lawal is the Director of Macroeconomic Analysis, Ministry of Budget and National Planning. Thank you for your time today. We'll be back in a moment. Join us again.